The next few minutes are going to be very difficult for you and for myself as well. But I believe that the next few minutes may be the most important few minutes in your whole life. The babies that we are about to look at are very controversial. In fact, there are some who say that they're not really babies at all. And I think for so long we have used terms to describe these children that have cloaked what we're really talking about. They're spoken of as fetal tissue and products of conception, but not babies. And I believe in the next few minutes you will have a chance to decide for yourself whether we're talking about babies or not. Many of you might not know it, but abortion in America is legal all the way through nine months of pregnancy. Babies in the womb are not protected by our laws. There are a million and a half babies killed every year in America alone, and the figures worldwide are between 50 and 70 million yearly. But here in America, every day, 4,500 babies die. 4,500. That's one every 20 seconds. So while I'm even sitting here and talking to you, every 20 seconds there's a baby that's being killed while yet in its mother's womb. The majority of abortions are performed during the first three months of pregnancy. But the procedures that are done on those children make it difficult to show you actual babies because they are left literally in pieces. But the babies that we're going to be seeing were aborted during the second trimester of pregnancy or the second three months. This is a common procedure. It's called salt poisoning. And what happens during that procedure is that enough amniotic fluid has gathered around the baby that they can go in with a long needle into the mother's stomach and draw out some of her fluid and then inject in a strong concentrated salt solution which is a poison to that child and it literally burns the baby alive on the outside and as the baby breathes in that fluid of course it goes right down through that child system and he or she is poisoned. This procedure many times takes hours before the baby dies and I've heard many mothers who've had this done to them say that they felt their babies kicking for a long time before there was stillness. And at that point labor is induced and the mother goes into labor and delivers a dead baby. The babies that you are about to see were aborted through that method and you will see some dark burns on their body, some black patches and that is from the salt burning. The first child that I want to show you is Baby Choice 1985 and this child is approximately 20 to 22 weeks of age. She's a little girl and it's important for us to understand in this whole issue of abortion that we are talking about babies and that's why these children are so important and it's important to see them so that the truth can be made known and so that when people become so upset over the issue you'll gain a better understanding of why Now, as you can see, this baby is fully formed and from the hair on its head all the way down to her little toenails, she's a complete and whole child. As I pick this child up, first of all, it's very easy to see that we're talking about a little baby. I can see her eyelashes her eyebrows, her fingernails. She's absolutely perfectly formed and whole. And the dark burns on her body are from the saline solution. She has hair on her head, perfect little ears, 
Absolutely nothing wrong with her. I want to show you some other children as well. There are five more babies that I want to show you. All again products of saline abortions ranging uh, from about 19 weeks down to 15 weeks in age. And as I show these children to you, again, keep in mind that this is happening here in America. This next baby is 19 to 21 weeks of age. Again, a little girl, same as the previous one. This one is 18 to 20 weeks in age. Another little girl, very badly burned. This little girl is 19 weeks between 17 and 19 weeks of age. And just as we look at these children, we can see just the contortions and the suffering on their face and what they must have felt, we can only imagine. This little one is 15 to 17 weeks in age. And here, a little boy, 15 to 17 weeks in age. I think that it's very clear from what we've just seen that we're talking about little babies. And the first baby that I showed you, Baby Choice, is named because that is the choice that pro-choice offers you, a dead baby. Now, if these babies aren't human, I ask you, what are they? And if they weren't alive, they would not have needed to have been killed. And the question that we have to ask our own self, each of us, is what are we to do about it? What are we to do to stop these horrendous acts from continuing in our country? In good conscience and in good heart, we need to, each of us, ask ourselves that question. <laughs>